Hello everybody and welcome to this macroeconomic video on aggregate supply. So firstly, what is aggregate supply? Well, aggregate supply is defined as being the total output of the whole economy. So how much is produced in the whole economy? Now, aggregate supply is slightly different in the short run as it is in the long run. So firstly, we're going to analyse aggregate supply in the short run. And this is our aggregate supply curve here. So similar to aggregate demand, on our y-axis we have price and on our x-axis we have output, how much is produced in order to meet demand. And our short run aggregate supply curve is very supply elastic. And this is because in the short run, businesses can very quickly change the amount they're producing. They can extend or lower office and factory hours. And really, that has a huge impact on the amount that they produce. So, for example, in the short run, a firm can reduce the amount that it is producing, not by laying off workers or selling machines, but in fact by just slowing down operations and reducing the amount of time that the factory is open. And just with a supply curve, when we have a decrease in aggregate supply or short run aggregate supply, our curve shifts up. When we have a D, an increase in short run aggregate supply, our supply curve shifts down. And there are three main factors which affect whether businesses will open their factories and offices or close them, run them to a shorter period of time in the short run. So these factors will also affect short run aggregate supply. And these three factors are the wage rate, the price of raw materials used in production, and the tax rate. So if all of these things are expensive, so there's an, a high cooperation tax rate, there, are, there is a high minimum wage and a high wage rate, and a high price of raw materials, then the cost of production is very expensive. So if all of these things increase in the space of a week, say, then in the short run, very short period of time, space of a week, a firm will reduce the amount it is producing because its profit margin has decreased. And it will do this by lowering its factory and office opening hours. So therefore it doesn't have to buy as many raw materials. It doesn't have to employ workers for as long. And it's not making as much profits, so therefore it can't be taxed on as much profit.